Sir. Nice, get it, girl. Cheers. The passion E9. fruit elderflower. Passion <laughs> fruit. Operation haze, oh, yeah. bro. Ooh, get yeah. it, girl. Ooh. I love me a hazy IPA. I've got the bourbon barrel peach cider from Teton. Mm. Wow, that sounds delicious. Sounds so good. Taylor's that guy every time, you know. <laughs> Awesome. Got the good drinks. World Wide <laughs> Web. I We're think live. You're streaming. Hello, everybody. It is I, Miranda, who you may recognize as somebody who plays Jolie Jewel of the Joy Clan for the Bottle Cap Brigade, aka us. And today we're having a little uh, a little fireside coffee drink hangout sesh. Mm. We're gonna go over uh, our most recent arc, the Merry Times Marauders arc. Um, and we're just gonna talk about it and it's gonna be great. And if you're in the chat, feel free to ask us questions. We're here for that, but really it's for us to kind of review all the crazy weird adventures and you know, uh, interactions we've had for the past, what, 15 episodes, I think? Yeah. Um, so yeah. today I have, uh, we obviously don't have all of us here, but um, we have the only people that matter. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is there some truth to that. Wrong. <laughs> uh, so today we have Austin Town, and who usually is our DM? <laughs> we got Joseph Fritz, who plays Tack, aka Paris. Thank, Thank you for swallowing. <laughs> we got Austin Von need... Johnson, who plays Eridris. Hi. They need contacts. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No. <laughs> no. And then we got a uh, Taylor Hawker, who usually plays Togu. That's Hi, us, guys. guys. Hey, everybody, welcome. Um, and I was totally kidding about that first joke. Sam and and Cat, we love you. We do. We do. I mean, it, it'd be okay if Sam didn't okay, play anymore. Okay, but we're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're. <laughs> we're <laughs> I just want to. I want to clarify, Miranda, that since you okay, brought it up about start... like a a fireplace crackling, I'm now gonna have that be the background through the entire thing. Yes. Just the sound of a fireplace. Oh, that won't be annoying at all. No, it'd be great. Everyone <laughs> will love this. I literally have a space space here on my feet. <laughs> oh, do you? I have some. Yeah. I do rocks. too. They're oh, called God. slippers. Ooh. <laughs> Precious. All right, so this arc, Maritime Marauders arc, started on episode 25, and we are now on what episode again? 41. 40, 40, 40, 41. 41. 41. Yeah. So this started quite a long time ago, and according to YouTube, uh, let's see, when would this have been? Oh, now my oh. computer's not loading. Never oh, many months. Ago. <laughs> many uh, months ago. I'm on oh, it. Well. You keep talking. Yeah. Great, great. And uh, this first episode uh, was called Molotov Cocktail. And um, in fact, we had nothing to do with Molotov Cocktails in that episode <laughs> at all. Does anybody want to want to kick it off a bit and uh, describe up. kind of what happened right then and there? July 13th, you guys. Oh, oh wow. wow. July that's 13th. Wild. Wow, that's way for oh, I damn. thought maybe September. That's crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. We've been doing this a while. Wow, that's a long arc. Because our first arc was from what, October yeah. until July? From July until like now, pretty much. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, no. You guys are frozen. Damn oh, it. Miranda's going to disappear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always Brandon, you have to upgrade your bet. internet, dude. Like I just don't even have to tell you anymore. We got a new like router and a new modem or whatever the fuck those things are called. <laughs> and the same shitty service. Hot dog roller. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. I'm well, back. <laughs> Maltop Cocktails was like, as usual, uh, an episode that I make where we don't do anything that I wrote down and we never got to the Maltop Cocktail. So. <laughs> I don't what even was... think we ever did in the story, did we? Did we make Eventually we did. Then do a Maltop Cocktail, we did? Okay. Yeah, it happened at the beginning of the following episode, I think. Um, I did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, th this this whole I feel like this whole episode was <laughs> like this was still back when we were split, and it oh, was yeah. it happened right after oh, um, yeah. the uh, the concert the crab concert, <laughs> and so we we were trying really hard to get to like basically just like get the party back together because right. we were still 
split. And um, I think that traveling process took uh, a lot longer than uh, Dungeon Daddy thought it was going to. (laughs) (laughs) The usual, the usual. Yeah. Yeah. My puppy. So was that the episode then where we were like on the boat that Joe League bought or that crew brought by and we were like shooting at pirates that were coming at us and we like took off? Yeah, so you guys went to uh, you guys split up. Uh, you got on this like little caravan, had an interesting uh, talk with like Colin and Carol. I don't know all these sea names, and then you guys got to a little town called Carmial, uh-huh. and that's where everything hit the fan. Miranda, I recall very specifically you saying that you were in an interesting state of mind during that episode, and it showed. I mean, watching that episode. <laughs> Is amazing. You walk in and you're like, you're like, <laughs> I'm Blackbeard, <laughs> and I just told you, I just told you that pirates are forbidden there, and you like screamed it. And I'm like, all right, the whole city is coming uh, for you guys. Uh, I said, um, Jolie said, uh, China of the sea. I don't know. <laughs> I remember that. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So some pirate uh, tomfoolery happened, and then then we move on to what? Tell us. Oh, well, um, so I, I have like the episode sort of playing right now on my little Dope. side computer and I'm I'm just looking at the faces and I'm reminded. So we're split right now. Togu and I are like, this is when we go back to sculling. Like while you guys are traveling in the completely opposite direction, we're in school oh, trying to, to take church, down to these nuts. <laughs> Oh no, I'm going with yeah, that. Yeah, this is this is like oh. remember remember when we had to go back to Calvin Tor's place and um and Calvin Tor was stuck inside of that suit and and then yeah. uh, and we had that fight and then I left and I went and started drinking at the bar next door and got super drunk. <laughs> and we had that altercation <laughs> while Eridris was super drunk right before we went and like um, we, we basically like posted up at uh, at the empty mug for a while, like waiting on the rest of the brigade, mm-hmm. and then we oh, we, yeah. we went and infiltrated these nuts with a whole bunch of like uh, mercenaries because you had <laughs> you uh, had some well, of your coupon right. left. I had from the from the shield. <laughs> I, I used them all what? from. Uh, oh freak! What was that? Yeah, I we did a we did a like early early on. I did, we did some bit and we made a deal with the mercenary group um, and they gave us three, mer- oh, the Shield of Companions. And we made a deal where they would give us three mercenaries at, to use at our disposal. And so uh, the first one, I remember we took like the big guy <laughs> and he really wasn't that great. And Austin was like, yeah, the weird, like meek, tiny one is the one you want. And so we brought him with us to break into these nuts. Yep. <laughs> and then we broke into these nuts and stole we, we got all sorts of like incriminating evidence or plans. yeah like they yeah. you know they were using slave labor to to do all their yep. stuff and then oh, literally right. like as we were leaving uh we were knocked out and captured by a couple of minotaurs that took us out into the desert and we had to mm. break out of some sand coffins and <laughs> uh popped up oh my gosh i oh do not remember God. that that's crazy yeah i do that all i forgot about that <laughs> i put the two players yeah. that didn't need oxygen yeah. and put them underground and you guys are like well we can just hang out here it's whatever <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it's the little yeah because i wasn't my body at that point yeah. We figured out that I didn't. Yeah, oh my God, was, you guys like kill Togo. build your way out. If I recall, you. Like, oh, oh, that's yeah. right. Yep. Okay, I do that's remember right. making that. Yeah, I remember that yeah. joke being said. Oh my. This gosh. was such a fun. Like, I feel like this was just such a fun time of content for us because there was so much happening at the same time. Like Togu yeah. and I were experiencing a whole arc and story that was completely different from the rest yeah. of the brigade. Right. Like, mm-hmm. so. I don't know. I, th- I thought it was kind of neat. We should split the party again. <laughs> <laughs> it was my nightmare because it's, it's, too- oh, why? Why? it's, it's not just it so one easy. campaign. It's now two campaigns kind of at the same time. And I need to make them all like come together. And, like it's double the writing. I remember thinking like, well, I'm going to get them back together job. as soon as possible. <laughs> it's, it was double the improv too, because it was like, that 
that's now you're writing twice and you're writing two stories where both parties yeah. don't follow the shit that where you're <laughs> you're writing like i feel like in that in that episode you had a whole encounter we were supposed to do with those freaking like brains with the beaks uh at the oasis oh and, yeah and you scrapped it the moment that togu put on the glove you're like all right now they're flying again and then eagle's <laughs> gonna come and save them from like 16 of them yeah um and then we ran into some bridge trolls that were okay. little tiny fuzzy trolls and <laughs> Togi just blew that shit up. That was a great episode. It's that It's that stupid glove man. It, it like it will never go so away. So cool. He I, yeah, gave I it to me episode he gave it to me session like one. We need yeah, to make be- bottle gap brigade uh, like gloves as merch. Togu's gloves. We need a falconry glove, dude. Oh, yeah. They're Wraith gloves. Yeah. Um, That was, I mean, this is before we were streaming that I gave you the falconry glove. And I remember being like, specifically being like five beers in and thinking of just a random idea. And I'm like, oh, that shit's so funny. Let's do it. Like, and no preparation on giving you an item at all. Um, And it's, it is, it has derailed more like ideas. Oh and yeah, story than like any other object. Like, and someone had the and, and somebody had the deck of many things. Like, and what oh, yeah. what is the you, thing that's caused yeah, more trouble? Which to you? Oh, yeah. the, this is yeah. This is kind of a tangent. Recl- we don't know where that is right now. What's up? Well, the deck of body. many things. Yeah, which, which brings us to the we never like picked actually, up. Oh shit! <laughs> a good we segue. Never got, Oh, go ahead, sorry. Well, no, I was just. I, I, we never I went and found you. Hardcore. This is so far like ahead, but I mentioned the deck <laughs> oh, of yeah. many things. Oh, I'm yeah. like that reminded me like we, like no one knows where that is right now. Like like that's a part like that's a powerful item that For creates sure. some crazy ass chaos that is not like in the possession of the brigade. And I and I just find that interesting. Ooh. Um, anyway, and then I mean that's kind of a segue yeah. though because the next episode. Um, or kind of like segment of episodes is when Tuya uh, got shot with a poison dart and then was kind of just like, you know, we, we had to spend a couple episodes trying to save her, which obviously didn't go as planned. Um, Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, yeah, we probably should say that at the beginning of this. Yeah, we this whole thing is Spoilers. This, in July. this is a whole spoiler. <laughs> it is a recap. Caught up. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It is a recap. Okay, we did our. I, I assume people are watching this because they don't want to watch thirty episodes and they like to just. Catch <laughs> yeah, it. that's yeah. A hundred and twenty <laughs> hours. But you should. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> but you totally can. Please. Um, but while we were trying to save to Yuya and bring the party back together, uh, this also led to one of my favorite parts of this arc is when uh, Tack, I don't know, uh, I feel like Tack, you might want to explain this next part, but this episode brought me so much joy when Tack rolled a nat 20 on his um, disguise kit, I think. And- <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. So... I think that's a bit ahead. You think? Well, we. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought you were going to talk about him pooping. pooping? <laughs> I don't Austin know the pooping thing. Up. Well, here's the what? deal. I do. I'm tra- oh, yeah, Joe. I do remember the pooping. <laughs> Wait. But this, okay, I don't. Tell me. <laughs> we start. Well, we start in schooling, right? Like trying to figure out uh, Taylor's background or character's background, and then like we mm. we split up. We're we're Eric just. And, uh, and Togu go a different way from the rest of the party. And you guys basically are all trying to get to one place, which is the, the city of Souther. But that's like literally 20 episodes or something crazy, maybe 15, where you guys are separated. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, whoa. Joe, you, I mean, when you guys were in that city, you shot a man in the ass. You did some stuff with poop. Oh, the I mean, butthole shot. A lot butthole of things shot. happened in Carmiel, a little town uh, on the way to Souther. I like, did forget yeah. about the butthole shop. I had some good nat twenties. <laughs> was Carmiel the one? Was Carmiel the city that had uh, like the weird? Or am I mixing that up with Icker that had like the weird music shop? That's Icker. That was Icker. Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. We'll get there. Car- <laughs> Carmiel, yeah, you guys were chasing a slinter, a, a rogue slinter pirate that was taking dumps on everybody's ships. Yeah. And- 
The and oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I ruined Austin's chase scene. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I was like flipping through my D and D book, like, okay, remember how to do chase scenes? And then you're like, uh, first shot, you're like, I shoot him in the ass, nat twenty, <laughs> and I'm like, max damage. And, yeah, you did so him. much damage, and you. And I remember thinking he's technically dead, but. I'm going to put him at, like, one health or something. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> and, I've, Austin, I feel like this was one of those situations where you had more, like, this character was going to play more of a role than it got the opportunity to play because it died so fast. Oh, I mean. The theme with that... us. <laughs> you, you, like it, it was one of those situations where where like this guy was gonna turn out to be a good guy or or was somehow <laughs> being like coerced by the pirates. Um, yeah. But sh but Joe like shot him in the asshole and the, <laughs> like we never got to explore that. Like <laughs> it, it almost became happen? a bad thing. <laughs> like a like like there are these moments where the bottle cap brigade are like borderline bad guys. Like ruthless. <laughs> where, <laughs> It's like Seinfeld's D and D. Like I feel like we should have an episode at the end of everything where all the people who we've shit on accidentally over the course <laughs> of all of our campaigns. We just walk into a bar and they're all there. Like uh <laughs> holding all their buttholes that I've shot. <laughs> That phrase, they're all there holding all their buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a review of the bottle capper game. I also can't Somebody believe just... that uh, you guys can't remember whenever Tack was pooping. That was that was the whole thing that started the song. Tack, <laughs> Tack rolled really bad uh, on pooping in a bathroom uh... and got had to poop in a bucket. Yeah. Joe, and tell then us I all got... about it, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't alone in the bathroom either. <laughs> um, and for some reason, I had to roll to go to the bathroom. <laughs> there was no reason for it, Joe. No. <laughs> I remember just being like, this will be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Failed. Then the people all around me proceeded to like pee on Wait, me. in what way did you <laughs> It was oh two. God. It was two big orcs, <laughs> two and they're, big orcs. they're peeing into buckets. And there's one bucket in the center, the only one available. And there aren't stalls; they're just buckets. And so he just goes yeah. and he just like looks at both of them. And he's just shitting, and you shit everywhere. If I recall, yeah. like on yourself on the floor, and then you start to cry. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like looking at oh, these orcs crying as there's shit everywhere. <laughs> Wait, is this when Jolie gave you a bath in like the the bar area, like after? Yes. I just... Yeah, this is when you gave me the bath. Uh, just feral creatures, just bathing. Which you. episode was, was this? Was this the Candy Dodge? It, I think it was. It was either Candy Dodge. Uh, it was either Poison Dart. I think it was it, Poison Dart. Was, yeah, I think because this was before Tex uh, Priest unveiling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> Yeah, things okay, went well, things got better for me, fortunately. Yeah, do tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there was that whole experience where there was the peeing and the pooping and it being on me. <laughs> and then uh Dolly helped you out. <laughs> now our our fantastic brigade has this whole stigma to them about how we just get peed on and pooped on and <laughs> It's, it's, now, it, it it's now canon. A song <laughs> chip, chip, chip. Far and wide, this bard <laughs> kept singing songs about how we take shits on things. Yeah, that was my fault. I want to <laughs> <on> you. <laughs> so you, so you. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then you know things eventually started to look up after I, I as Miranda mentioned, rolled my nat twenty on my sneak in disguise move. After yeah. we had a, uh, we were briefly captured mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. pirates, and we were going to be sacrificed over a pit of piranhas. Right. And oh, I that gave was a scary. yeah, I gave a very convincing speech to a goblin. Yeah. That uh, who, 
I convinced him to not deal with being a slave and how his treatment and all of that was immoral. And so he sacrificed himself for us, not knowing that he was going to be sacrificed, but uh, <laughs> it happened. You guys watch as he like goes, he's like, for freedom or whatever he does. He yeah. like cuts the sheet. And then as you guys are like flying up, somehow you watch as he's like pelted with spears. Like, <laughs> 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 I completely blocked that out. <laughs> yeah, he saved us. And we had Pete with us. Good old P. That's right. Uh, I had to kill that dude quickly. That was horrible. Yeah, we kept dragging him (laughs) along to make you feel like that NPC. Sam's Sam's bullshit. That is that is a summary of Sam's bullshit. Is the whole character of P. Yeah. Well, like I. Oh, go ahead. You do it. All right. Well, I think we're uh, gonna say the same thing. Yeah, maybe. Well, like, so we, you guys get to Carmiel, uh, Togu, and Erdris. You guys head a different way because you go back through Skulling, and then you. You take the long journey, and it's just interesting. Cause... But I, I think when we went through Sculling, we had to go because that was when I lost Corkscrew, right? And I had to go back to get Church Key. Maybe. I mean, because because you had that like out of body experience. That, I think it's a cool crazy end. dream thing. Yeah. Yeah. We we, we had to yeah. do it for a lot of things. Like, um, you know, we had to keep the promise to the crab man, and um, <laughs> we also had to. Um, I it was. I don't know, Taylor. I'd like to hear what you think. I felt like it would be too meta for us to not commit to the thing that we had kind of committed committed to, right? With the oh, yeah. promise of the crab man, Togu and Eridris didn't know where the rest of the brigade was, and and I remember yeah. like as we were RPing that we we both just assumed they were going to meet us back at the empty mug, and we kept yeah. at, at least, I. Uh, we kept like using it as a joke uh, to like uh, in between transitions where we focus on the different parties um, because uh, I felt like at that time, whoever was like leading uh, the other party away from sculling and like away from meeting, like reuniting the party uh, just kept on doing it, you know? And it was like a way of poking. I, I have a feeling it was Sam. I'm pretty sure Sam kept like <laughs> guiding them away from sculling and like reuniting. So like you and I would have little bits of like, you know, I wonder what the rest of the brigade's doing. Like, <laughs> I wonder what's oh, taking yeah. them oh, so yeah. long. It's like, we cut to. Yeah, like, I remember that. Oh, good old long. <laughs> All right, so You guys uh, take a, like the main party takes a boat to go to, to Souther. And while you guys are walking on land, so a very yeah, different thought- journey. Um, but why, I mean, you guys all got caught, um, and, and, and almost killed by a, a god of sea of piranhas because you guys ended up going to upper souther, which is like a totally different place than lower souther. Right. Yeah. That was the fancy, the fancy souther. Well, the it was, Ardini. it was run by the Ardini pirates who were really weird and had like right. weird ear piercings and stuff. And you guys just like, oh. I remember immediately, I don't remember exactly what you did, but right when you got there, you were like, we're not fucking Ardini. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, and you were I, supposed to be I blew it. <laughs> Wait, I, you were like, uh, somebody oh. else go. I went to the member, like we had the whole plan where I was going to go to the bartender with P. Right. Yeah. And like and be like, oh yeah, this is this blah 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 blah. And I basically blew the whole conversation, and they <laughs> captured us all. <laughs> right. That like, was one of those situations you. where like Austin was trying to very clearly state what you guys needed, and and it happens all the time. It's like what we needed to like get to be safe. He's like, all right, where's your rite of passage? Sweet, you need a rite of passage from the so so for the from the Lord of the Bay. You need a rite of passage. <laughs> And it was like, well, we don't fucking have one. And they're just going, and Austin's like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I tried multiple yeah. times to tell you what you need and that you're not safe here. You just need a fucking um, ID card, man. I just go get one. Right? Go get it. You'll be good. Oh, geez. Okay, and then, so then, if I'm looking at the YouTube playlist, then this takes us to tax... Uh, priest moment. Oh, yeah. No? Yeah, we're there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've made it. This is oh, yeah. a part that I hold dear to my heart. Uh, Tack, <laughs> would you love to expand? Yeah, so I decided that 
one of the only ways we could save to you yet is if I just try to sneak back into the city we were chased out of. Right. <laughs> and I put on my disguise, rolled in that 20. You are blessed. Suck at DM. <laughs> <laughs> and snuck past all the pirates back into the city. And I became uh, Father Malkavoy. Malkavoy, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. that was fun because uh you changed the entire next episode like i i had nothing written to go back into the town right um and i had like a, a boss fight that would happen later further on in a different location but so that was forced to happen immediately as was uh um you exploring a whole town that i hadn't <laughs> created yet really so um, but I was excited to put you in it. I, mean, I tried to make you uncomfortable during that. I, I hope that I did. It was it was my intention. Yeah. Was that, oh, totally. Was that the cannon battle? Uh, that was when he goes into the city dressed up. I mean, how did you look, Joe? Talk to us. Um, well, you can find a photoshopped picture of my actual self on episode our twenty seven. <laughs> episode twenty seven. Also, my lucky yeah. number. Hello. Um, oh. Yeah, and I, you know, goblin, green skin, <laughs> Jerry curl wig, friar monk robes. He looks like, he looks like old Greg. <laughs> I kind of do. Like old Greg. It's kind of old Greg. It's kind of weird. It's, it's, see, this is one of those things with creating these Photoshop where I don't want to, like, green face you. It's, just so, it's like an uncomfortable position that I'm like, wait, how real do we have to be with this? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just watching this little skit go down. Mm. I was shocked and thrilled when Austin, when you had, or when Tack was going back in and you ended up making the plot like a, a fucking friar pope was supposed to be at the town. And that, in fact, everybody definitely thought that Tack's character was actually the character he was playing. I, yeah. I didn't expect that. I thought that was a really neat. That was to, ridiculous to do, especially yeah, you're for, just speaking yeah, for the whole, that was the whole city. episode. Of, yeah, oh, it was done so oh, yeah. well. <laughs> do you oh, remember any part of your speech to the city? Um, I have some good notes written down, but I don't know wow. if oh, I why I started telling everyone I couldn't read because they were like, oh, <laughs> like where's this thing of the proof that you yeah, are the proof? Like I can't read. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of descriptions of the rooms that, that I was in. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because remember, I kept slowly walking around them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you made the whole thing quite like long. the. Uh, so Austin kept putting like little nuggets in each of the rooms, like like to try to entice you to go in them. And Joe's just like, okay, and doesn't do it. And just like, I wait here for 15 more minutes. <laughs> like, you can wait there if you want. I, just... um, I had lost you got my some cool sword. Shit, though. Yep. I got the vacuum, the three birds, one storm, one stone. And uh, <laughs> sailors are Morse back. You got the extendo spear. Oh, really. that's right. Extendo spear, which is mm -hmm. now. Oh, oh, yeah. I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> I robbed the shit out of those pirates. <laughs> With <laughs> the help of. Little man. Yeah. What wood chop. chop. We're chopped. Oh, <laughs> like, that's ah! right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you weren't there. Yeah. Yet. Dude, I barely remember what happened in our last session. So, like, for all of you at home, I'm an audience <laughs> member, and they're like that. I'm be like, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It gets hard to keep track, though, for sure. It does. It really it, while, does. While Joe and, and the rest of you guys are doing all this shit, I mean, Eridus and Togu are kind of like having uh, a weird space-time continuum experience um yes which is kind of wild yeah so i did my speech did I have that whole thing like it all went really well luckily <laughs> people yes. believed who i was supposed to be <laughs> um and then with with the help of woodchop i burned the pirate headquarters down he did oh shit <laughs> <laughs> that was the mall top cocktail mm -hmm. <laughs> 
18 episodes later. And then and we're getting close to when the party got to reunite again. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, Austin, you kind of alluded to it, but uh, one one thing to note that's kind of like a bigger plot point in the in the in the grand scheme of like Magna events and and Griald and all that is um, while while Tack was being you know Father Malkavoy, uh, Eridus and Togu um, stumble into this like cabin um, and have a whole oh. conversation with future Togu and oh. like. At some point, I want to oh, go shit, back yeah. and just watch that because I, I, I am sure that there is shit in there that is super important and like that I've completely forgotten about because that was a Wait, major no. thing. Future Togu or Kid Togu? No, it was future. It was future Togu, like super sad future Togu. In like a cabin or something. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, those kind of happened at the same then, time, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I don't remember future Togu at all. It was it was right before <laughs> Vint. <laughs> so so yeah, it was, it was, when you met it was in this episode. It was in it, yeah, it was in the uh, it was in Rite of Passage where um, <laughs> you know while Tack was running around, you and I were like walking to Souther, and uh, and yeah, we we stumbled upon this cabin and we went inside and it was future you. Um, in, in like a different, like like from a different like time timeline, thing. yeah timeline, um, and 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 I remember that like future you was talking about how um, how Griald wins, um, and and a very like dark thing, and um, and they did not have any hope, um, and we had this whole like time space continuum talk of like well wait if this is true then this can't be true but if this is true then this is a thing um and and yeah we basically uh we got the, the like we learned how to how to beat Griel, i think or, or at least the way to go to you know um it, it was it was our our dm telling us what to do basically <laughs> uh in a, in a very cool way but afterward uh we we were there uh, future Togu like disappeared somehow. They had um, they had either corkscrew or um, your new dagger, search key, and, and, and like and like a future version of it. Um, and and you were like dual wielding him for a second, uh, but one of them was shitty. And then Vince shows up. Vint was knocking on the door looking for help, and that's and that's how we got uh, introduced to Vint. Yeah, you guys went into a cabin. Uh, right before Souther, he like learned how how in the future you lose to Griald, so you had to do something different, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, you discovered that things were already different. You learned that like Mars was hey. gonna die and and stuff, and like how yeah how the future was bleak. Um, anyway, that's crazy. We have t different timelines in our story, you guys. I'm stoked. <laughs> So then we got to link up, right? Soon? That came next? Yeah, you guys, I think you met outside the city at some point. Um, and then we had a pretty tragic boss fight, if I recall. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the logs. Ooh, yes. The log. Fucking. Long Paris. I, uh, I don't, which Lord episode is bear, that? Right? Yeah, because it's my favorite. It's one of my over long. Yeah. Okay. So this is why it's so fun. <laughs> is because also the thumbnail is great because it's so sad, but it's just Sam being a turd with lumber behind him. You know, it's just like it's great. I just think the, yeah, the that name's was crazy. funny. I should you're, have you're called really it like, log overdue. This should have happened yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> by the way that you play. <laughs> Remember when you punched the hive of bees? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brutal, though. Um, who? So we were in the fight with the Lord of the Bay. We had all just reconnected. We got in a fight Lord. with the Lord of the Bay. 
A Lord. Bay Lord. Bay Lord. Yeah, and it was like it was like the big it was like the big ramp, right? Yeah. And Bay Lord was up top, and he just kept releasing the big logs. Like Donkey Kong. Well, and I remember, Donkey like, Kong. which is a great visual for the remember... fight, by the way. That yeah. was a great visual. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. I want to say I think I think Trium and I think Eridris <laughs> and I were successfully jumped over a couple, and then. I think Jolie was it Jolie that got hit that fell to the bottom. Was it Tag? Yeah, basically we had the situation where I do remember like me and Jolie were trying, we're, we were constantly trying to get Ong out of the way, but we're not strong. Um, <laughs> and, and I was, and I was on, too. and I was, yeah, Tack was the one that went unconscious. Mm -hmm. Tack, right. yeah, 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 I was on pretty that. early. It was I, on the I'm, log with the Lord of the Bay. Yeah, you, you guys were like Pirates of the we caribbean like, yeah. like, <laughs> dun, 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 That's that's pretty true though. Yeah. I, I remember I had the greatest plan to like because we ended the session as like the feeling on Ong wasn't dead. And like I remember I thinking like the best plan. I was just gonna use Mage Hand and True the Bay. So he'd fall in front of the log and just get rolled over by it. But I think when we started, something had already happened that we like, you took us off the logs or bounced us off them or something like that, right? When we started. Yeah. But yeah, so basically, on full brunt of like two okay. different logs, which knocked him unconscious. And then air just because no one had rested in like four episodes. Yep. <laughs> Just came and basically demolished him at the bottom. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we kicked his and ass. He, he died it was, because it, was, it like gave him yeah damage equal to like more than half of his um, HP. Right? Is that how that worked? No, we killed him because he was unconscious. He was unconscious, and then he got hit again. Uh, uh -huh. So like he took damage after he was already unconscious. He was just Ooh. getting his shit beat up. Yeah, yeah that was a times. episode. And, and that that one was so tough because I remember we got to a point where there was nothing anyone could do. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, or Togu was like a quarter mile down with Lord of the Bay. You guys couldn't lift him. Ak was just, and we were just like. I'm pretty sure I was at a spell too. That's where we're at, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. and Miranda, you had, you had stabilized him with resurrection mm -hmm. or something. And yeah. and but he he couldn't move and he just got hit again and knocked him out. Right. There was also there was a little bit of controversy with that death, um, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. <laughs> there was. Uh, but he but yeah he ended up dying and and yeah then Togu was out of the Caribbeaning and and then we had like a very emotional like moment. God, that um, was so sad. And then Air just like yeah took off and. Steve got some good shots in on the Lord of the Bay, and then Daryl yeah. slammed him. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> and then we had a precious little, uh, little like uh, ceremony funeral of sorts. We like laid uh, flowers and little gems and bottle caps around Ong's body. I thought that was really precious. Yeah. And then did we bring remember... did we bring him to the ocean? I thought it was One Tree yeah. Hill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. Which is a place that one of you guys made up. I think it might have been Sam. Oh, was it you? Guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you were like, we're gonna hide behind something. I'm like, there's a there's a hill over there and it has a tree on it. You're like, one tree hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember taking that was uh, where Togu took Ong's like prized purple bottle cap. It was, yeah. Is the yes. one that he turned into a guy and that we gave to Vent later. Yeah. Oh, we get that back. Oh. That was a no, no, we gave it to you. Gave it to Prankle recently. I thought. <laughs> oh, was that who I gave it to? <laughs> yeah. Prankle. Yeah, it was Prankle. Yeah, it was Prankle. <laughs> I mix Prankle. up the weird kids that follow. Yeah, we I always know. get kids. What's with these kids, man? <laughs> you want oh. Miranda to be their mom? <laughs> has a soft spot for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez. What was the okay. episode where Miranda wasn't there or Jolly wasn't there and we just all fought the whole time? 
<laughs> oh, that was that was, oh, uh, was a fiendish. That was a fiendish. Uh, okay. Trail. Fiendish thing. I thought. Yeah, that was like right. No, near the sorry. End. It was way later, but. Yeah, that was that was super later. That was super later. No, we're we're at a point like once once Ong died, we we fought this weird like swamp elemental for like two seconds. Um, Oh, right. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Austin, what was that about? Oh, uh, there was a carriage in the swamp. Yeah. I wanted you guys to use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. I don't think you guys did, though. You were like, well, walk. No. And I'm like, I think oh. we were all mad. <laughs> we just, like, cast spells and, like, beat the shit out of the mud and we're like, Bye. <laughs> 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 totally. We yeah. save Vince and go. <laughs> um, and then we uh, got to meet Sam Gates's new character, Darrow, mm. shortly after. Uh, we kind of did yeah. a brief little, um, I guess it wasn't like a one shot, but it was just a different point of view from Darrow, where we also met. Uh, uh, clacks on clacks off for the first time and these uh jolly little brothers that um kind of seemed a little canadian <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then uh austin i think you had a barbarian too right or something yeah i forget what kind of uh character austin gave me um yeah but yeah it was it it, uh, it, it was interesting because like i i had in my mind a character idea right and then um whenever austin was introducing my character um he, like he described him as this like really muscular very large bearded uh individual that was getting into a fight with a guard and so in that moment i completely changed my idea and like gave him a completely different voice just because of the way that austin had introduced him um <laughs> And then I stuck with that. Can you do that voice again? <laughs> it was just so good. I, I don't. Um, it was something whiny and like I remember you flicking it, your. Yeah, hair it was. I, yeah, here. It, <laughs> I, I I have to get into like the mode of what happened. So you were like, oh yeah, this this guard pushes this large burly man with a big old beard um, down into the snow, and then I got up like, why did you do that? I was just trying to ask you a question, and you you had to go push me. You push down into the snow for some reason that's not very nice and, oh, just, <laughs> oh my God. Yes. i got really into it yeah that was not what i had planned at all like a very character. emotional bearded muscular man <laughs> <laughs> i love it oh yeah uh, that that was an interesting one shot um at least from like a meta like like dming perspective because austin i feel like you kind of had plans for that whole thing um b because we were really just telling darrow's backstory and, and like introducing darrow as a character and so and i think um, we were all told like you're just make a quick npc you don't have to worry about you know stats or anything like that it'll just be a second but then i feel like yeah. that part of the story went for like hours <laughs> <laughs> it went long <laughs> I mean, we create a one shot where we want to introduce a new character, which is kind of fun. And then we get them all the way to, to you guys after you play different roles. And um, I remember that, imagine that whole thing being like a like uh, like Dark Souls, the, the game. Um, and it, it was just like very sad. But you guys, I, I kept being like, it's raining. There's one bonfire in the middle of the area. Everyone's depressed. They're in the middle of nowhere. And then you guys are like, yeah. And I'm just like, what's, you know, it, it really like changed things. And I remember being like, hey, Taylor, I'm going to play your brother. Um, what do you want to do? And you responded pretty quickly with, with saying, like, I want to do like a, a really, really ridiculous. No, no. You did, You told me you're like, we're going to play these two dwarves. And I was like, sick, man. And then he kind of told me, he's like, this is what we got to do. This is it. And then that was the only info I got. So I messaged him. I was like, what kind of dialect do you want to do? And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, how about Canadian? <laughs> and he's like, OK, sure. And then we created probably two of the most annoying <laughs> yeah. duo characters. I'm sorry to Canadians. Planet. This is obviously probably not <laughs> how any of you are, but certainly uh, was fun. Oh, no. It was, it was definitely <laughs> like, um, 
it, it wasn't like letter kenny canadian it was canadian no. like from that uh no. that, What's that, video? that movie in the 90s it was strange strange brew, brew canadian it was strange brew canadian. letter kenny canadian strange yeah brew. oh yeah you hoser oh it was ridiculous <laughs> yeah we were that <laughs> I remember thinking I don't know how to do the this first, accent, like... <laughs> and I had I had to just say something I, every time. Don't don't you? I think it was like don't sure. you know? Like I was going Wisconsin, and then I would change it afterward or something. Like <laughs> I went. I think I accidentally uh... went like Irish at one point, and yeah. I was like, oh, that was wrong. It was bad, I think, from both of us. But... It was fun though. Yeah. <laughs> No, you crushed it. It was, it was, it was what you fun. doing there? So then, how did how did Daryl get oh, fuck, the party then? Oh, fuck, wasn't Daryl with us when we were burying Ong? So if I if I remember correctly, yep. Daryl came in and basically saved us thing as Griald's castle was floating and all the gargoyles were starting to attack. Well, uh, or like a gargoyle was starting to attack, you, right? Taylor, you're fighting the Baylord. And he actually he does the KO on the Baylord because he like butt falls slam. In the oh, air. it was it was the Baylord. Yeah. So like during your yeah. boss fight, and then Air just shows up right afterward, or during maybe. Yeah. No, uh, we I got some hits in. He, yeah, he so, definitely KO'd. Okay. Like 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 basically at the end of a, of of uh, Darrow's one shot um introduction, um he gets he gets picked up by a gargoyle. Like they stumble upon Griald's castle um it, like in the snowy north and and there's even this moment where like there's this massive uh, I, I can't remember if it's a troll or some kind of frost giant that they encounter but then the frost giant is immediately like either scared off or destroyed um by one of like griald's somethings um and then darrow is picked up by a gargoyle flown fucking like completely across the country and then randomly dropped on the lord of the bay that kills and that's what kills the lord of the bay i, I do want to <laughs> oh clarify gosh. when we're doing when we're doing his backstory darrow's or his introduction one shot i created three directions for you guys to go and i said a forward <laughs> is ice giants and certain death and i said to the right is the wrong way absolutely wrong and then the other direction is where you think you need to go. And somehow you didn't go that way. So I was going to like introduce... Sam was like, let's go to the frost giant. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Because Sam was going to, Sam's Darrow was going to meet like the people that's like got his thing or whatever and create some yes. purpose in his life. But now it's still totally unknown, right? So See... Well, and and apparently the character that you gave me was some kind of leader of those guys. Yeah. Uh, and oh, like, yeah. Austin, were were you going to give Sam his amulet back at the end of that episode, or was that something that's gonna be was gonna be part of like Sam's larger character arc? I yeah. mean, now it obviously is, but I'm I'm kind of curious. Yeah, my what your plan was there as a DM. My hope was that he was gonna at least meet the person or people that have it. Uh, but now he still doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to go back uh, so far and watch that episode, yeah, just for the sake I of know. continuity. I know. God damn it. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right. That's, that's so us. then we have our whole new party is uh, together. We have Darrow. We definitely all weren't too warm to Darrow. He kind of... <laughs> hey, that was his own fault. That was his own goddamn fault. Totally his own fault. I mean, Sam managed to make it even Most shittier. Most things character. are. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was a good dynamic. It was something different. Like, you know... Yeah. What we a spellcaster <laughs> that keeps people also... from falling. <laughs> yeah. That was the greatest. That, that was, was pretty, the best. Oh, that was pretty God. meta. Oh yeah, I mean, a lot of more stuff happens in this arc. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened, and okay, so I mentioned this before we were streaming, but this again is kind of where my brain gets extra fuzzy. Is the next couple episodes, Long John Slinter and a very canny dodge. Does somebody want to give a little summary recap or get us started? So at the time, I know that our primary motivation was to 
we still we needed to do two things. We needed to uh, save to Yuya, um, mm-hmm. and we needed to get Taylor his body back because this was still yeah. when like Togu was undead Togu, and one of the right. things that we the the, the, the motivating Togu. thing the what. Duck feet. It was duck feet Togu. Yes. Duck feet Togu. Yeah. Every step. And so um, we were. We had gotten information from Calvin Tor and Sculling to go to Souther to meet his brother Ivan Tor, and and Vint also needed to go to Ivan Tor. So we we're like, right. we're going to go into Souther. We're going to track down Ivan Tor and hopefully at the same time get leads on where to find to Yuya as well. And I mean, realistically, like oh, both yeah. these episodes, we kind of have the same motivation through, you know, right. and, and that's kind of what we do over the course of the episodes, but there's some crazy shit that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we go to, we go to, we're, lower this is side. nuts going back over all of this stuff because even though we're like talking about the main points, yeah, there's still like so much that happened in each one of these episodes because I forget that they're like four hours of storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a lot. I, I mean, think long. Well, I mean, I, on a good day, it's four hours of storytelling. <laughs> Sometimes it's three hours of bullshit. Something. Bubble <laughs> jokes. We so long oh, jumps never. Went to shopping montages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. Long jump Slinter was the one. Long John Slinter was the one where we had uh, it was the cabin on the on the pirate ship, right? And we went into the cabin and tried to search for all the stuff and didn't actually find what we were there supposed to search for. And then we got attacked by the Kraken. No, that's that's that, a that's no, a, that was later. Yeah, that, that's coming up though. Yeah, you guys, you guys yeah. journey from Upper Souther to Lower Souther, and even though I was like, hey, <laughs> here's this thing you could use if you pull it out of the swamp, you walked there, and when you guys walked there, like, <laughs> you found a little tomb, and you ran into Sir Harvey oh, yeah. and again. Um, oh, the tomb. I think you guys wow. found a cool book oh, yeah. there. Um, and then eventually made it to Lower Souther. I don't remember exactly what we did first oh, when we got there. Oh, that, but... that was the book that Daryl... That was the book that Daryl found that had the potion for the bomb, right? That I stole and read in the sleep. And yeah, then Daryl right. did not like me even more. <laughs> okay. Yes. So he's got like a cool thing. Okay. Um, somehow we get oh, I think that the next is the next session when we had the we had the guest. Um Jupiter. I mean it was it, it's like three uh. sessions. Well, because like over the course of uh, uh, Long John Slinter, like I think um, I can't remember which one ended with that tomb, but I feel like one of them ended with the tomb. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. um, and then the next one was all about like getting to Ivan Tor. Uh, we had this crazy. So we get there and Darrow is using his <laughs> like family name to to get us all of this really fancy treatment. In fact, <laughs> right. There's right. name dropping. The last time, the last time I ever outfits. did um, uh, one of our little like cutaway videos that you'll see, uh, it, it's this video called uh, when the DM says we don't need to RP that. <laughs> 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 yeah, Darrow, yes. Darrow takes us to this fucking spa and like, um, Austin, you're like, uh, yeah, we, yes, we go in, you get bathed, you come out, you're clean. We don't need to RP that. Well, but dude, uh, but you then guys, like, oh, wait a second. Um, <laughs> you guys were all about it though. You were like, are, is it a spa? Like, do they have baths? Is it not? And I'm like, well, who cares? Yeah. Why are you asking this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, we don't need to do this. So Stop. Stop being excited <laughs> about the baths, you know? And I'm, and I'm like, there's one bath and you all have to share it. And you go in one after the other. And then Sam's like, oh, but well, we that's the case. we spiced it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joey created water new each time, so we all got a fresh bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys, uh, anybody watching, if you go to our YouTube channel and just 
find the video in the special moments playlist. And it's <laughs> and it's when the DM says, we don't need to RP that. And you can see everything that happened in this little part. We all got fancy robes. We did. Um, God, that was so stupid and funny. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like, like it wasn't those, fucking funny. It was horrible. Those moments are like so precious though for like character development and just like a unique sort of way. It's fun to see everybody express their like characters through those silly little yeah. trivial moments that end up being so special though <laughs> and funny. Oh. I think Austin you found or someone found uh a key. Oh, in the why that was important is it, when we guys were in that I already forgot what I called it, the tomb. Uh, the crypt, found the, the, the crypt. tomb. Yeah, yeah, you guys found a key yeah. with a raven on it. And then being in that city, yep. I think you found a building that had a, a door with a raven on it. I yep. couldn't have made it more clear. Uh, like... <laughs> I, it's like, raven, raven. Oh, I think I need to do a thing. Um, yeah, we we ended up finding Ivan Tor and, um, and learning about how to switch Togu's body. Um, and like he gave us an item and uh, I don't know, it, it was a weird thing. I don't know. You guys chime in on this because I felt like I, as a player had difficulty really figuring out what, like, at least for Eridris, what the motivation would be. Like, how do we prioritize the task list? We have, we have to Yuya where we have no idea where she is. She could very well be dead because she has the poison shit. Um, and then we have Togu who needs a new body and somehow these are two priorities in my mind i was like we let's do them at the same time we'll find togu a thing as we're looking for tuya and it all happened at the same time how did that work for you guys i feel like that episode jolie was kind of long for the ride (laughs) i feel like she was just down to do whatever so was togu i think i was unconscious for that episode yeah, yeah, you that was one been. of the. That was one of the. That was that was the one of the ones where last minute I had a gig pop up and I couldn't be on the stream, and so Austin was like, "Uh, okay." All right, so then, yeah, you pass out. And we just carried your body yeah, around. I, yeah. 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 Oh, and then, and then and I then... came back to the next session. It was like it was like it was it was like the worst version of like a dating game ever. It's like. That's their number one. It's a six foot four weasel <laughs> who has a weird breathing. Problem. Oh, that's their number two. Is a... yeah. It's a that was super like... annoying bird. The, duck. the, oh, scre- the yeah. singing bird. I was was so it the drumming? Hoping... Who was the drummer? Oh, it was, it was a dwarf. Was that the weasel? Drummer. And then the dwarf. There, the dwarf drum. And then there was a bird, and then a, a fat weasel. And I uh... performed with the bird. <laughs> I was really did, hoping right. I was really <laughs> okay, hoping you guys would choose the bird though cuz the bird was horrible like I'm like I really want Taylor to have to be this character cuz it was like the most I mean they were all horrible <laughs> They were all horrible They were all Yeah bad. actually that episode was really stressful for Jolie because she had to like deal with like the moral question of having to like kill one of these people so her oh, friend yeah. can fit in their body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how the DMs just like, oh, pick one. I'm like, where? where Casual. Where? Holy shit! We can't just pick one. Let's choose the one. Um, the, one <laughs> the one who's not making an impact on society. Let's grab that first. <laughs> yeah, that actually was a really stressful episode. I feel like as Miranda playing Jolie, it was tough for me to be like, wait, Jolie gonna like she's not gonna cross this line i don't think like it's just not her she's too nervous about that well then uh you had a terrible interaction with the dwarf person the drummer (laughs) i remember yeah you guys were how did that go connecting oh that's when i said um you know what they say (laughs) the world's your stage the world's your drum or something like that (laughs) (laughs) just so awkward and yeah and the guy was like (laughs) Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. I just walked away. Yeah, I know. luckily the weasel was kind of chosen for us. <laughs> yeah, well you guys <laughs> yeah, left without choosing our one. Lab. You left without choosing Well one. because we couldn't kill somebody. <laughs> I, know. I, I was sh- like, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry episode, we have issues with that moral of question. heroes <laughs> travels into a bar to find a body to dispose of and put their other hero friend inside. It was a dark <laughs> mission. Not- God. 
<laughs> no, we, I think, just got high on a ton of, like, sugar shots at the bar. <laughs> and then was, like, you did. Sitting. No, you kept getting whiskey uh, with sugar yeah. or something. It was, like, oh, it was great. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was a, yeah, that was a crazy, it's, yeah, no, this, we, we just have to deal with some really crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> in all of the arts. Yeah, we do. Um, yeah, it and it's hard to be like, because, you know, we want to stick to our characters, moralities and, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and it's like hard to not like just push what weird thing is thrown at us to see what would happen, but actually like be our character themselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, geez. Cause did I want to then... murder them all? Maybe. <laughs> 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 And okay, then I so remember then, asking okay. Austin. I don't know. I don't remember if I asked Austin about it, but like I definitely didn't want to do like the breathing thing with the weasel. Right. I was like, could I cough and change voices? And like oh cough God, yeah. and change voices, but but it didn't totally work because I think I coughed again or something. And Austin's <laughs> like, well, you fucked it. So now you have that new <laughs> voice and again. the breathing thing from the old voice. <laughs> I don't remember what you did. Yeah, you like, did something shit. where I was like, "I you you annoyed me," and so I decided to take it out in game or something. And you know how it is. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you, uh, I you, probably deserve you guys it, you know. go into like into that Raven door at some point, though, right? After we kind yeah. of figure out. Yeah. Basically, after after it fell in our laps, like we just kept the disc <laughs> outside as we. It's like, oh, and here's the other thing we can do while we're at it. Um, yeah that sucked it was fun who was the raven that's uh, when we had to fight those alligators right or... yeah mm-hmm. we went in the first thing we did is we went to the top and tack uh... got a shield because he's always our lookout whenever we're going through a trap door from underneath put me through first <laughs> <laughs> and we went down and we the sewers and had mm. to have the alligator fight yeah. Yeah, that was intense. Like that alligator fucked us up pretty good. <laughs> and then we went into the sewers and found all those people like chained up and stuff, right? And to Yuya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. We found yeah. her. She's kind of unconscious. And so we just went into like we kicked into first gear and just try to I would try to heal as many people as I could, get people out of the chains. But then, Erendris, didn't you find you rolled a nat twenty on like a investigation oh, check or something yeah. like that? That prompted us into the Erendris backstory episode, the following episode. Yeah. But yeah, what, basic- what was it that we found? It was like um. Fire? So, whenever whenever we got down uh, to like the main corridor that had all the people that were chained up and like being sold into slavery by these pirates, um, next to that corridor was like an office. Um, we didn't really know it at the time, but it was like a wooden door with a light underneath and we could hear voices from inside of that office. And, um, basically at the end of that episode, um, you know, we, we had saved a bunch of people. We, you know, we had to Yuya, but like the, the arguing had, what was getting like really intense and like one of the pirates, was just like it was was thrown or something so hard against the door that the door flew off and then and literally like the leader of the slinter uh pirates came out and like tackled one and started to like drink their blood because they were a vampire and then the, the the episode literally ended on them looking up at eridris and it being aether's daughter and yeah, yeah. <gasps> such a twist yeah Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then Eridris, um Is that how it ended? What yep. then she ended. run away right then yeah. too? I tried to kill the vampire and not. It ended with her running her away. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, right. Yes. Um yeah, she looks up and then and and yeah, Attack was swinging like that massive sword that he just got out of the crypt. Oh yeah. Um, and she like be, she turned into bats and like batted off into the uh into the sewer you know through the grate gosh yeah. so crazy <laughs> well, what's interesting about this was um and janelle if you're for some reason watching this that's amazing because uh Hi! that uh that episode was act or that destination of souther 
I w- was actually originally going to bring back uh, her dad, and he was going to be oh, the leader no way. Um, of the Slinter group. And her dad, at least in that, her, the character she made, her, her oh, dad okay. was uh, like was kicked out of the city of Marin because he was like killing people and selling their meat as meat, basically like selling their bo- whatever. Um, and so then that, ah. that was going to tie into the whole slavery <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the character Weird she wrote. children's story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, pretty nasty stuff. And uh, and then I'm like, you know what? I haven't even, it was even better to have uh, Aerodris' daughter. I mean, it tied in so well with other things. So, God, well, yeah. it's it's tied into like oh. our third arc where we're at now. So well, yeah. for real, yeah. So then we had Aerodris' backstory, which was kind of a unique gameplay because a couple of us were playing characters in Aerodris' backstory, but it was all RP. None of us really knew anything, any details really that Aerodris had like, you know, developed mm. and all that stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. well that's the kind of fun part is like we know a little bit about each other's characters but none of us have like asked to see each other's backstory so we're still learning about each other's characters as we play yeah for real mm-hmm. it's really organic yeah mm-hmm. i would say yeah. that's a pet peeve of mine it is when i play with <laughs> and uh well no when I they would say... say that i hate that with a passion um... <laughs> no i it's opposite i i hate when i play with some, like i play with a new group or something and everyone just explains their characters um oh yeah you know what i mean like I this happened and this happened and this is why i'm like this and i'm like well dude like let's just <laughs> I, we would find that out if we played properly so well, let's just, you know like yeah. this... I also kind of imagine, though, and maybe this is just me, but that like our characters do know more about each other because I imagine our characters talk to each other like in the, you know, in between traveling and things like that. The parts that we like don't. The montages. Yeah, and, all, exactly. and all the time that we're in all the time we're short resting and long resting, <laughs> which is often like crazy. Yeah. All yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> So I do kind of, I do kind of imagine we know each other a little bit more than you know what we yeah. actually do know of each other for our yeah, characters. For sure. Austin, what did you think about your character's backstory episode? Because mm. I also um, actually, I mean, the story. thing is, I my my backstory was vague enough that like it it like had plenty of room for us to play, right? Like like nothing happened in the backstory that like contradicted something that I'd already previously written. You know, mm-hmm. I'd gotten that to Austin and, and everything, <laughs> everything kind of fit. It was definitely an interesting, I mean, one, uh, yeah, this was a very crazy episode. One, um, it was, uh, it was weird because I feel like I kept doing shit that Austin didn't anticipate. Um, uh... like, because <laughs> um, th- there, there was there was this disconnect between the way that I perceived Eridris's motivation of what to do in each moment versus mm. like it, it, there's just dis- a disconnect between mm. Eridris the character and Austin Von Johnson the D and D player right mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. if if I if yeah. I was if I was really jumping into like playing the game and like the meta you know then. I would have gone super hard into the story. There, there's a specific moment where like the temple was on fire and it had clearly been, a, been attacked. And I think that Austin was trying to right. get me to go investigate the temple, but like I was super into Eridris's head. Like right. my friend just died or, or is on the verge of death. I'm going to try to get him back home so mm-hmm. that he can be saved and not just like yep. ditch him and go investigate. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it, it just got really, really weird because um, the, the like RPing that aspect was crazy, but also that it was just a heavy freaking episode. Mm-hmm. Like, like, mm-hmm. You know, getting into the RP, yeah. it, it got to a point where I felt like I'm like, okay, I can I can like go harder in terms of like <laughs> acting and performance, you know, and, and right. about what's happening. But is it appropriate? Like, is it like, mm-hmm. is right. really the space for that? Like, we're playing D and D. Should I like? <laughs> where does this line? Should I start <laughs> crying and shit? Like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. What are our viewers gonna think? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. So I, I got super in my head and there were definitely points in the episode where, you know, 
at least I could tell watching it back that like I was super in my head and hesitant to really like give mm-hmm. in to the reality mm-hmm. of the moments. Mm-hmm. But it was fun. It's... I, 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 that's still one of my favorite episodes for sure. <laughs> I really enjoyed playing it. It's scary because we're we're playing. I with have a character. to remind myself of what? Oh. Oh, Taylor's frozen. <laughs> I feel like he's going to say a whole bunch of stuff in a second, though. It's going to be super I'm fast. frozen. Yeah. 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 You look good, yeah. Sil. There you go. You're oh, back. there it is. All there right. you go. I, that was such an interesting episode because it was like, let's explore in real time your backstory, uh, but also mm-hmm. like I can't change things, so I had to like railroad things to make sure that certain events happened that you said did happen in your backstory. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And but you also remember getting that. N- I remember getting that note from you too when you talked about our NPCs or I guess our non-canon PCs or whatever. I remember I'm like it's awesome. So like we can't fuck this up. It's too bad. But at the same point, like you couldn't tell us much because we didn't you didn't want us directing it. And like, mm-hmm. yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. 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 It, it was an interesting one. <laughs> but and no, I, I, you didn't know about it, Austin. <clears throat> that's what was interesting about it, is we didn't tell you it was gonna happen. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah I, I had no idea. Yep. Um I mean oh, I knew did you... it's gonna be your back I did know that it was gonna be my backstory. I just didn't know I, I didn't know the extent of what my I didn't know what my backstory was, kind of. Like I knew what my backstory oh, was, okay. but I didn't know the details that Austin as the DM was going to reveal about my backstory. Um, yeah. and 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 you. there were some details specifically of how they relate to Griald and and to like his mission and and the things that he's trying to accomplish that I obviously didn't write into my backstory because right. how could I have known when I was making right, my character? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was that kind of stuff. I felt like it was very well balanced though. Like like the like mm-hmm. the way that everything kind of transpired in the story, it all fit. I felt like everybody's mm-hmm. character motivations made sense. Um, you know, I like we, we we had the big reveals and and they happened at the right times and I don't know. It, I I think like as a like from a storytelling perspective, that was just very well done. Good job, guys. Right on. Yeah, so, I uh, I do <laughs> love uh, Sam's character when he had you gave him some sort of tip like you like the blood oh. or something, and then Sam's oh, character just <laughs> went with it, and he had that the epic demon like, kid? Yeah, suddenly just was like, "I'm at your beck and call, <laughs> Mister Drift." <laughs> And that character ended up DJing a party that Joe Lee threw, if you ever watched that Halloween one shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, Joe Lee hired a, he goes by Mr. Driss now. He's a DJ. And, um, he lives in the night, <laughs> he lives in the nightshade and Joe Lee throws a surprise uh, full moon uh, Halloween party and hired him. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. Holy <laughs> <hell>. <laughs> the kid <lived> on. <laughs> I I don't think I picked up on that when we did it. <laughs> I yeah. I remember saying I didn't something either. like <laughs> well you guys laughed so I thought you did, but the DJ was very <laughs> <laughs> hopped on the mic and was like, uh said something, I don't know, something was like I uh, can't wait to party with you guys. My name is Mr. Driss, and I'm at your beck and call. And then, like, drop oh the mic God. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I had dude. no idea. Really? <laughs> <Damn> it. <laughs> I wasn't there You at guys that all episode. laughed. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. One. I wish. Yeah, yeah shoot. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I think that was probably the end of the session, right? So we're all in, like, a different state of mind at that point. But, yeah. I, I sure. <laughs> um Drunk. Yeah, we're, we were drunk. I can say that on TV. Is it TV? Anyway, so here's the deal, though. Like, we, you have this whole backstory, and then it comes back to reality in the next session, which is kind of fun. So we explore, like, your backstory, right? Yeah. Andrews, and then we come back. It was like a flashback. Yeah, I was literally imagining, you know, like a, like a 70s show where, like, the screen's, like, wavy, and it's like, do 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 And then, like, it, it, I, I was like, that's what happened. And then you come back and you're staring at your daughter in that tunnel underneath Lower Souther. Oh, um, I just want to say, like, at, like from a performance perspective. Now it's weird to call D and D performance, but like this whole series. Like... Yeah, we do. I think I don't know. I think 
Yeah, that's fair. Absolutely. It's just heavy as fuck. Because, like, if you're playing the reality, you're playing the reality. Yeah. And anybody who does, like, any kind of, you know, live, whether it's theater or film, like, like, live improv, it's, when when you're tapping into that shit, the whole, like, that episode and the episodes after it were not as fun as other D and D or <laughs> they're fun in a completely different way mm-hmm. that also yeah. can tap into not fun. Because mm-hmm. 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 it's like yeah. three to four hours of that type of like character, you know, motivation well, that you're. Leading yeah. Into. <laughs> and that next episode wasn't that, or was that the episode, or was it the episode after that when I mentioned before when Miranda was gone? Because that's when that was when Togu and Erdris had their big blowout fight. Yeah, I think that was a little um, later. Yeah. Art for that. It was a little bit later. Was it later? I, but I feel it like still, it was still later. That's good to mention because I feel like that was the stepping so stones later? towards that argument, though, because that was when uh, Erdris starts getting serious. You guys start butting heads and in, in, in after having a really good connection during your adventures oh. together. Um, yeah, because yeah. you guys started role playing that yeah. really well. I think like it's because like stuff was going on in your Dude, lives. It was affecting. I got uncomfortable. It was it was a because <laughs> it was that good. <laughs> in yeah. Eridris's motivation in terms of like what he wanted to accomplish and what was important to him at the time, because like for Eridris, this whole arc just really shitty. Like the way that mm-hmm. he comes face to face with his past, and and I think. Um, Taylor after losing two friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um yeah. Taylor, I think that there uh in in the arc before that, there was a moment um where we had a conversation and it was definitely it was definitely like one of the more RP heavy moments of our of the of the particular session. But it was um we were in this fight with the shadow of Griald, right? And Austin had written in this part where Shadow of Griald shows you uh, something that you regret. He like transports you into like this re- very regret heavy space. And and I'm like letting that be real. I'm like, wait, if that's real, then Eridris would have seen like his wife and daughter and would then be reminded of the whole reason he's out and about, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. setting up the events that happen in this arc um and now he's like face to face with that right. whereas before he was kind of like a little more happy go lucky yeah. enjoying the vacation from dealing with this shit you mm-hmm. know yeah <sighs> damn we get yeah. deep y'all the bottle cap brigade <laughs> uh, stream on thursdays <laughs> yeah oh I think well, it- that's the thing we like everyone's story we touch into gets heavy. <laughs> yeah. Every orphans yeah. die in Jolie's. Right. Yeah. First session. First Half session. Orphan Fucking... First session. God. <laughs> but it's like it I'm so interested every week of, like I'm so invested in playing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's hard to <laughs> shut off my brain sometimes. Like after we're done with this session, it's hard for me to like stop the train tracks. I'm like, what happened with this? What about this? But what if this? Did I do that? Should I have done this? What about Jolie? Does she really feel that way? Da, 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 da. You know? It's like mm-hmm, I yeah. get so invested in it. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. <laughs> and like I cancel things. <laughs> like oh and like i make sure like people people are like oh we're gonna be doing this on this day i'm like ah you know like i'm busy thank you joe <laughs> yeah. thanks, thanks for being an adult joe <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> um, no, i cannot go play soccer with you i am a goblin on thursdays <laughs> I need to talk in voices with my friends for five hours. Yeah, it's literally like there's this person who has hit me up multiple times on Thursdays to go play indoor soccer with them over the past almost year. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and the last time I, they texted me, I was like, no, I have D&D. And they're like, shit, yeah, Thursdays. I'll take you <laughs> off the no, list. No, no, they just know. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, that is something really like special and cherish that we have such good energies and vibes when we do get to play with each other. And I do feel like our, you know, yeah. little cast and crew have this like unique ebb and flow and it seems really natural and organic to to play in our RP, especially as much as we do. And um, yeah, thank you guys for that. It's really fun and great and like therapeutic, I think. <laughs> no, we've, been, we've been consistent for six months now. Seven, Crazy. ten, yeah. ten months. Almost, we almost started in months. March. We started in February. Mm. We, oh, you started I, 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 I think I saw, yeah, that's good. <laughs> before we yeah, joined. It was February? I thought it was before that. I don't know why. It, it might know. have been a little bit okay. before, but that's it crazy. was definitely <laughs> like at the beginning of last year. And we, st- we brought in, yeah, Miranda... I think I, I want to say we we streamed like one episode before you came on board, Miranda. Maybe two, maybe. Yeah. Mm, my um, first session was one of the first times y'all were in um, in Eavesdrop, and it was like yeah. the session you were recording to use as content to promote the live stream the following yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah, we were like we were over ten sessions in at that point. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, to, to kind of it bring really us full is. circle here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we have like four more episodes. We do. To talk about. We got, a, we got like, <laughs> we got 26 Five. minutes. So let's just, let's we see. can do it. We got it. We got it. We you got guys, six more episodes. You guys come, you, you come back to reality. Right. And this leads into, uh, the, the, after you guys get out of that tunnel and you come back, that leads into that episode of fiendish trail. Um, mm. and th- that's when you guys really are like starting to hunt um aether right a- and and some other things but you're really trying to i i want to re i wanted to reconnect oh, you yeah. with your daughter again after she disappears um yeah and you guys have a, what i would say is a horrible attempt to follow my story for probably the first three sections of that episode like you did not do anything it blows my mind how that happened like it's really in hindsight it's so simple like <laughs> We, we we had to Yuya's body. We took to Yuya back to Ivantor. To Yuya becomes a fiend. What did we do? Like that? You literally you we you must didn't have been doing some the really lab. fucking funny shit. Yeah, you didn't leave the lab. <laughs> like it took you an hour to leave one building, just one room. Like it took you an hour to leave that. And when you guys did, you spent another <laughs> hour like in the the street outside of of the lab. And like Taylor, like, Taylor wakes up in a new body, and he's like, ah, and he runs and hides and like some other stuff. And I'm like, what's happening? Like, can you guys? Oh, yeah. And oh, we yeah. have a guest star yeah. I'm trying to introduce. Uh, all you have to do is just get to the second bullet oh, point on my sorry. list, and he just yeah. never do. And I'm just yeah. like, oh god. We had we had we had to, we had a lot to go through before we started on the stuff. Yeah, we were dealing with some shit. That's <laughs> no, all good. But you guys chase this, this. No, was this body back or was this weasel body? Weasel body. Weasel. Yeah, he's a weasel. He's a fat weasel. <laughs> and yeah, um, you know, <laughs> so when he got new, when he got his new voice. Yeah, that voice. <laughs> oh man, because that was the weasel voice after I <laughs> after I it out. Yeah, but you guys, you guys follow like I'm... the trail of this thing, right? And that goes uh, <laughs> into slowly but eventually yeah. meeting with Tuya in her new body, and then also seeing Aether. Um, and yeah, I mean, someone else talk about what happened there, but that was a cool interaction. Wait, Aether's body. Okay. Say that again? You broke up. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry uh, my internet gave out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you guys, you guys caught up with Aether and Tuyuya and she was like a new thing. Um, new, like oh, scary beast. Aether was like mm-hmm. petting her. That was a really good visual. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. What was, was the dialogue between twisted. Aether and us? Oh, it was fucking dramatic as shit. Because oh, yes. um, I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like what had happened at that moment was Austin was trying. It was weird because the because once <laughs> once our guest star's character got introduced, it was almost as if Austin tried to derail us because you brought in. Freaking uh what's Bor- his face? Uh, uh Borg- Borg- Borgus? No. Borgus. Borgus. 
And and <laughs> so like half of the party was downstairs bullshitting with Borgus. And Eridris <laughs> yeah. went and upstairs. And Klaxon got summoned. Yeah. Sam summoned Sam. Klaxon. Yeah. <laughs> Sam happened. <laughs> And so Borgus and Klaxon were vibing. You had a chest that you wanted somebody to put items into. Um, and and Eridris was so like confronting his fucking trauma. That he's like, no, fuck this. I don't care. Um, <laughs> like I go up and talk and like try to track down the thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a shield that you don't remember getting me. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What sucks about that shield is I remember thinking, oh, it's such a good idea. I'll tell her later and I'll weave it into like a little side story thing and it's gone. Like I didn't write it down. I just thought about it and it's gone. I love it. In I love it. The shield is literally gone because, I because, well, I mean, we'll get to it here in a moment. I feel like that's the shield we use to hold up something. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. But anyways, uh, we, we, we yeah. got upstairs. Like Eridris had some very fucking heavy shit. He had to tell his daughter that he hadn't seen in fucking 10 years or something stupid. He started casting Flare, which is this, this goddamn oh, yeah. like spell that only him and his wife knew or his <laughs> wife taught him. It's the only thing that he can cast from a mage. It's not even a real spell. Austin made it up. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then uh, our guest star freaking like home... What, you know, grand slammed to Yuya into a thousand pieces, <laughs> uh, and to, and uh, then Aether used some magic to transport us onto a ship. Yeah, that's right. She does a lot of transportation, like teleportation magic. Um, that yeah, was she, so cool. She created like a. Portal it saves a lot of in. time. It does. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. it. um <laughs> low-key low i've been wanting to put you guys on a on a ship and do a, a kraken battle like from session one <laughs> so i was like i forced it hard <laughs> i'm like they're going there right now i'm, I'm tired of waiting <laughs> but yeah you'll be so fucked it up because it took us <laughs> like an hour to even get to the kraken it was like you put us in the room and we looked at everything in the room except for like the one thing you wanted us to look the at. candle I know, but you guys, yeah. you guys end up on this pirate ship, right? And like you fall onto it, it's just like this abandoned pirate ship. Um, yeah, and, and that's that was super interesting. Well, we wanted to make it kind of like you were exploring somewhat and checking everything out. Um, and then you have a huge fight with a giant kraken. And what does Sam do? I feel like he ruined it again. Um, uh, no, no, he saved was our freaking, shit. It was Ong. Oh. Yeah, he kicked ass. It was Ong, wasn't it? The bird. What well, he like communicated was... with it. <laughs> he so we have this. Oh, thing with the in kraken. Fights. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we have this thing in fights where we we don't. I don't. I still like to this day don't think we've ever done it a single time. Austin, you do a kick ass job of thinking of like very creative fights and encounters mm -hmm. that we have, and. We as a party don't talk about the most efficient way to deal with the shit. We Instead, all do our we... own thing. <laughs> oh, we are people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We will all do our own thing instead of like meta yeah. gaming, like, all right, Joe, you do this thing. And like right. Taylor, do this thing. Austin, go do the right? Like, and so we fuck ourselves every time. We we <laughs> fucked ourselves whenever we we had the giant centipede battle. Um, we yeah. fucked ourselves with the Kraken. Uh, but luckily with Ong's death yeah <laughs> with the yeah. the log that that was we fucked ourselves <laughs> yeah <too. laughs> um luckily like uh sam used some kind of spell that allowed him to communicate telepathically with the kraken then rolled a nat 20 on a persuasion to get it to, to not eat us oh, right. that's basically <laughs> I had, yeah. I had to beat like, like he just a, found out he was hungry or something, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was just hungry. He I had just, to beat like, like figured a, out he was hungry and then fed him seagulls. I had, to, <laughs> I had to, yeah. You, they did. I had to. It, the the kraken had to beat like a fifteen wisdom DC, and I remember thinking it's a kraken, right? I'm gonna give it like plus thirteen or something stupid, right? And I right. literally rolled like a one or two, and it just barely not working. And I remember being like, God damn it, Sam. <laughs> You actually, because when he does that, he can hear its thoughts and then implant a thought, basically. And, yeah. 
not good. <laughs> but had he not done that, it would have been we all would have died. Yeah, the that ship was breaking. Oh, yeah. You were going to sink. Mm -hmm. We were um, failing that fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We and Joe Lee was like, wiped too, it, so no healing would have been able to be done. <laughs> it no. took us like two kraken attacks to even figure out like how we were supposed to like damage the kraken. No, it was. Clear. And by that time, like the boat was already falling. <laughs> no, no, it was no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't clear because we didn't know. People kept who, leaving, like because it took two people to. <laughs> But I, I will tell you right now, like yeah. Austin just tells us straight up how to do it. Like anytime he's like, okay, the cannons take two turns. They're like, okay, cool. All we have to do is calculate the most efficient way to cannon attack this thing. Because he wouldn't put the cannons there unless he wanted us to use them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, and 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 the same thing happened with the, harp the harpoons on the centipedes, you know. Yeah, you do a good job, uh, yeah. Austin, of like, like, hey, here's the tool to beat this thing. Use it. We're like, <laughs> I'm going to throw meat at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you wanted to be like 100% like max min on this, like you would you would put Miranda and um, anyone else that maybe like maybe Darrow or something and they would fire the cannons and you would have Joe as mm -hmm. a fighter do his 30 action attacks. And then well no, you know, the, the problem with the cannons was it was a strength check to even fire the cannons. And the and with our party, none of us are very strong. And so that that was that was the problem was like I could have gone down there and someone else could have gone down there to fire them, but our strength is so that they were like, it's not even worth us to go down to the cannons and try to fire it because mm. it's not gonna happen. I mean so that's why could be I, 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 don't, I don't, don't remember well enough. I, 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 I remember like I, I was like doing the math in that fight. I feel like during that fight, I was like this the whole time. I was just like, okay, if we do this, and we fucking do this, and like, um, and and basically, what we had to do was just focus the cannons. Uh, like Austin was right, yeah, because Tack has like ridiculous damage with his crossbow. So if Tack would have crossbowed, and the rest of us just focus on loading the cannon. It would have, uh, we would have done it. Well, mm -hmm. you did it anyway. I mean, we did it anyway. Yeah, Sam yeah. took care of that. Um, <laughs> Joe Lee rode the cannon like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I helped. I helped where I could. <laughs> All these things I don't remember. Um, <laughs> uh... Yeah, wow. But this led into uh, the one of the more fun side stories, if we call it a oh, side man. story. I mean, it was canon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was the introduction of Cat. Oh, a new world! Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. and then we got our newest member, AKA Esmeralda. Yeah, dude. The blowfish with the great legs. Hmm. Um, we woke up in soup. Did you go? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We had like mm. underwater mm. suits mm. as we mm. went down all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Oh. You're Wait, good. Am I back? You're good. Yeah. You're back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had suits that brought us down all the way to the bottom of the ocean, which is quite terrifying. Airdris, I believe you got sick in your in your suit. I failed the con roll and uh, <laughs> threw up. Puke boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your pukes. <laughs> which and is which is kind of interesting. That that's a that's a total like Austin Townend's move, like to op mm -hmm. open a session. Like basically all it is is just opening the session with some kind of saving throw that causes you to have to RP something differently. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it, just, it just throws you off of your kill, like whatever you had planned. <laughs> and yeah. that's why shit takes so long, Austin, because <laughs> we can't we can't go it's to the you. door immediately because we have to RP the reality of puke boots. I think we've just <laughs> we've leaned into puke boots, right? And and I <laughs> And I also like not having to do anything for 20 minutes. And I just watch you guys do this thing. <laughs> you know, it was it's so stressful bringing us all into the scene. And now I get to just chill and watch you guys do something. The problem is, is that watch 20 minutes, you're like, it. fuck, we have to take a break. It's been an hour. <laughs> you guys didn't even and left the room. they're still in the same room. Oh, God. It's true. It happens often. Yeah. So, but this is where we met Esmeralda. <laughs> and we witnessed her younger sister get captured by eels come a giant eel coming out of a temple eels. so 
<laughs> so we uh, agreed to help Eels. her save her sister, Eels. And then we go inside, and that's when we find out that Esmeralda is also trying to plan prom. I yep. think. <laughs> I think this is where <laughs> this she, is where prom got introduced. She brings up prom. <laughs> She's not even a part of our group yet. Like she w wasn't committed to playing with us every week. She was just for fun. <laughs> and yeah, she just brings something up that becomes like a thing. We probably have that to. Everybody attaches to. You. <laughs> yeah, like prom's a thing now, and I think that's funny. <laughs> But you guys go through this entire like dungeon basically, and towards the end of it is it's like all these gargoyles and stuff, um, and a huge snake. Oh, that's right, Togu loses the drug dealer. The <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, or the, the eel. Sorry, not the snake, but the huge eel, the man-eating eel, sells drugs. And like, oh, what is God. it randomly that your Erdris's pet pet snake or Steve? <laughs> yeah, see, so what happened was, like, earlier in the session, it was established in this world that, like, some kind of relation to you means that they are a drug dealer. Like, it, it was some kind of, like, like funny thing. You'll have to watch the episode because, like, it, it's like, and if this is true, then, then this is true kind of thing. Um, uh, and you, like... You had said that this giant, big, bad eel was Steve's cousin or something, <laughs> which meant in my mind that means it's Steve's drug dealer because it was already established earlier in the thing that that was a reality. So that's how that happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, Togu yeah. lost his knife. Oh, yeah. Almost. Yeah, well. That was, that was... That was, that was an intense, like, it was like the last half hour of the of the session, right? When yeah. it was mm -hmm. like it got everybody was going through the portal. Uh, the gargoyles would turn to stone if you like looked at them. What if you if you looked at them? And so I remember Togu uh, like closed his eyes until they were close to try and get Church Key back, and it all sort of worked out. Yeah, I mean, this was also the episode that Miranda lost, or we used that shield that. Miranda was given to prop up a thing. So uh, now, yeah. Austin, you don't have to think yeah. of a backstory for it. Word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but Taylor. And then, how did we get out yeah, of the well, ocean? Taylor does his thing where he, he he's fighting these gargoyles to get his knife back. Right. And they come in as the building's like collapsing. There's like a portal. You guys all go through it. And Togu's like the last to do it. Right. Um, and... Oh, he because I didn't grab the knife. And this was Togu falling through the. Yeah. Through the you you well you held on to the knife or whatever, but then all the gargoyles were grabbing onto you, and you all fell through that that that. No portal. no 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 no. Uh, the gargoyles kept the knife. Remember, well, because they, they chased after me when I put on the glove. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then they, they and then they kept the knife, and so we ended the session. Togu making some line like, "I don't know who you are. I'm gonna get my knife back." And then I like scuba fell through the portal back with the friends. Yeah. Didn't... I didn't get the knife back until the next session. All right, yeah. word. Well, it, it's a cool thing we, because we started it with a fight, but yeah, it was yeah. Like, I no. mean, you basically pulled three like gargoyles from an underwater temple through a portal back onto the same pirate ship, you guys. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys wild. also got a key, one of the keys that you're you're trying to find, mm -hmm. which yes. is the purpose of going down there as well. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, you have a fight with some gargoyles. Uh, I think the most interesting part is that next session where you have to then go to, you have to go back to Souther. <laughs> and instead of like trying to make the boat can't work. get away. <laughs> yeah, I remember being like, uh, I guess the sails repaired. <laughs> or like I created some like, ways for you to get there. And then you guys are like, no, nah, fuck that. We're going to get all of the sea life around us. To <laughs> yes! The boat. Ezra coming in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> We have sea turtles boat. and dolphins and whales. And they were so precious. One dolphin in particular had a big impact. Yeah, then kind of shit hit the fan. God. <laughs> uh, shit hit the fan. We were trying to get to like <laughs> go into that like one cave area, and there was like bombs flying everywhere. But we were still kind of talking about prom, I think, at one point, mm. and like yeah, some cause... cool drama that had happened <laughs> or something. We, we were 
we were driving like the the opposing pirates ship so the entire town of Souther started to attack us right and we had to abandon it <laughs> yeah and um, there was a dolphin fatality on our way to, uh, on our way yeah yeah. I think that was also uh, Austin's, uh, Austin Townend's um, uh, message to us to stop RPing during a fucking battle. <laughs> Go. Yes. Kill all you dolphins. I, yes. I had also... You used that to hurt us. <laughs> I had also just rewatched um, so my wife could catch up on... Um, how was the, the the boys the boys and we watched the first episode again like the day before where he's holding his girlfriend's hands or whatever anyway uh and so it, it's something about sam or daryl holding this dolphin uh, uh face and then the and it getting decapitated that was just so like we met, i just thought of that episode and i was like i'm doing it you know like it's just funny <laughs> 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 oh my gosh and thought, and where did that episode uh, end at because then guys, it brings us to our last episode in this arc it's close yeah, yeah you guys go and you make it into lower south or you have to sneak in yeah. um right and uh i i can't remember exactly you guys go back into the tunnels i think well we had to I mean, the whole point of us getting back to South or the, you created um, a sense of urgency because Togu was dying. Yeah. Um, <gasps> the, his, the, the oh, weasel shit. body was rejecting his. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And so we had to get That's back right. to Ivan Tour and it, and it ended up being Vent that um, performed oh, yeah. the operation yeah. because you gave me a bunch of drugs. Uh, the the, <laughs> you gave them the eel gave a bunch of drugs and then oh, Ivan oh Tour got high on whatever fucking weird ass fluffy drugs he gave me yeah yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah he had some butt diddlers underground around uh, was it butt diddlers <laughs> i don't think yeah, anyone's like, taking butt diddlers uh, yet i i i keep bringing it up though because i think they're, it's no, the best name of any no, drug no no i'm pretty sure darrow did some butt did- diddler uh yeah Dar- <laughs> we had butt Butt diddlers, uh, tongue rapids, underground rounders, and abort the snorts. <laughs> Those were the names of the drugs. Yes. Oh, That's what wow. I read as well. <laughs> How do you guys think butt diddlers are taken? Like, how would you... Up In the nose. Ass. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to make it really clear. I think I explained it to you guys you why made I thought it. of that. No, I know. I think it you... depends on the season. <laughs> You gave us a visual. You yeah. gave you us a freaking Google things. image search. Like <laughs> during the break, right? I don't think I said this. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. like, find these things. They look like rockets. How about this? If you're watching this right now, go ahead and Google <laughs> rectum rockets. And I promise it's an actual drug that you take for butt pain. What? Rectal or rectum rockets. To be fair, it could be any kind of to be fair, it could be any <laughs> kind of pain. Because that's like enemas are real. Yeah. Like you, you don't just take enemas only for butt pain. Like you can take en- <laughs> enemas for a fever. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it works really quickly. Just when, to clean you out. I, when I had my wisdom teeth removed, oh, I um, I broke all of. No, my finish the story. We are adults here. Yeah. Tell yeah, me about your butthole. Austin. Um, I, yeah, I broke all my stitches, got sick from the medicine I was taking and I couldn't take any more painkillers because the swallowing was like swallowing blood and stuff. I got dry. Oh. It was the, like the worst situation ever. So they're like, oh. we have one option. We have painkiller suppositories. Yeah. So yeah. I had to take these little slimy torpedoes up my butt as painkillers. Mm. <laughs> hey, Joe, they were I had my, instantly. I bet they were <laughs> <Dude>. amazingly. Uh, <laughs> So like I had my I was bottle. wired yeah. shut. I was exactly. Yeah, I was mouth wired shut, shut for eight weeks, and I had to do the same thing. Oh, yeah, eight weeks. I also uh, took a suppository. But, yeah, Mine the, was the second <laughs> for fun. Or... No, I forgot what it was. Sorry. Is that why they called you anal? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old man. No, it's a. Uh, the second, the second it starts to feel warm, you're like, oh no! Like, <laughs> like, uh, like when you, like when you enter yeah. a suppository, and then it goes, Boo. 
<laughs> it's exactly what happens. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Um, this all. Well, this happens. is a great way to wrap up. <laughs> we are almost caught up. <laughs> We're almost there. The story arc. We're so close. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so Togu gets. So we bring him back. Diamond Tor. Togu gets sick. Oh my sick. god. What? I just realized that the episode that Taylor has been trying to like reference is the last last episode of the goddamn thing. It's like, is this when this happens? We're like, no, Taylor. It's like, is this when it happens? Like, no, that's the last episode of the whole thing. That's I cool. was just trying to move it along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to the end. <laughs> he was paying attention to the time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, Taylor, why don't you uh why don't you uh just turn the corner? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't I don't re- I don't remember what happened in there. <laughs> <laughs> you get your body back. You're not undead oh, anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember how uh it. yeah, so I'm I'm no longer undead. Uh, he also happened to like cure my asthma, which is pretty right. rad as a character because that was so stupid. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> I can't remember if how we started chasing. Um, I remember that. I remember like, and I can't explain it necessarily from like a canon perspective, but I can tell it from a Togu perspective that like I remember there was a lot of shit going down. And there was a lot of, like, we were getting attacked by gargles or something the city was. Mm. And I remember Eridris was very determined to keep moving and to keep going. And I, I don't even think I necessarily knew what he was doing or where he was going or why he was doing it. Um, and so, I yeah, Togu, his response was to, he was trying to stop, just have Eridris stop for a second so we could all kind of reconvene. And figure out a next step, but Air just was not gonna stop. And when two immovable forces meet, uh, usually an explosion happens. Somebody gets pushed down the stairs. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, that's why I don't remember this because I wasn't here this episode. Got it. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. This is this is the one with Miranda. Yeah. Okay. Miranda was gone, so we all fought. (laughs) Uh, But basically, basically, it came down to, and and Austin uh, Double D had given us a really big clue about like these gargoyles that were attacking the city like we there we couldn't beat them like there were like thousands and thousands and it would be absolute demise if we went outside Mm -hmm. um and vj was very very determined to find his daughter and and to figure out what's going on with aether and whatever and but nobody had known that from erigis because erigis was just kind of bolting and so i remember togu stopped him and was like dude like we need to figure out what's going on which Air just took as Togu saying, we need to go fight Hold. these goblins. Time out. Maybe. That's not, Maybe. You were mean. I skip. Here's the thing. No, I was like, getting to when I was mean. I wasn't mean yet. It's I wasn't mean yet. I wasn't mean yet. I Togu said a line that I knew would stop Aerodress. And it sort of did. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, it was kind of like was it was kind of like the it was like when you're having an argument and you say the one thing that you know is going to hurt the other person to win mm-hmm. the argument yeah. and then regret it immediately. <laughs> and like so uh, the the line that Eric just said was, I've "What have you ex- done that in my goddamn life?" Oh, for the record, uh, <laughs> uh, but Eric just yeah. basically said, "Like, what do you what do you want me to do, or what are you expecting me to do right now?" And Tohu yeah. responded, "I expected you to act like a hero." Or something oh, along yeah. those lines. And I pushed him down the stairs. Yeah. Pushed him down the flight. Yeah, and so and Aaron just so Aaron just said Aaron just screamed, Oof. fuck you. And then this two hand pushed Togu down the stairs. Uh That's and so then intense. proceeded to run oh away. Gosh. And then while I was downstairs, yeah, and while I was downstairs is when is where everybody else was. And Daro made some comment about like I don't know what he said, but that's when now, Togu you went like, back jumped up, up and punched Daro in the face. That was fun. Oh, was that where he was? Yeah, it was yeah. like we were all yeah, upstairs. Yeah, I punched on the face. And then I, yeah, and then I had already gone downstairs. You walked back up, and you were like, you know, reconvening with everybody. And then yeah. Darrow's smart ass comment. Yeah, got, got punched, punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, and you then, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you guys just basically had you know a different opinion of, of what to do next. That you looking out this yeah. this window. Um, 
and uh, the like the whole city is kind of being destroyed. And you you respond to the situation very differently with different plans. Um, but Eric just ends up going down those stairs and back into the tunnel um, and into exploring further. And I, and I think Eric just or Austin, you had oh, this was so crazy. Yeah, you had like a, a, a like I think the idea was that you had been caught and you were hallucinating. Um, and then you came yeah, to. So I, I, I mean, I didn't message. really know. So I got a for sure. I got a message from from Double D the second we chased after Eridris, and uh, basically Austin told me, "Do not let Eridris go to whoever was on like his age." <laughs> no, it was or, Vint or whatever. Who was he? He said, "Oh, Vint." Yeah, yeah. He said, "Do well, not or, let Eridris go to Vint." Don't go to and the so, kid, and it wasn't clarified who was who. Um, and so that was when Togu came down and I used enthralling performance and charmed Eridris to stop him from song. going, like basically to apologize <laughs> that we sang uh, Chicago, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was like, Brother, and that in me the love away. I heard him say from each other. Yeah, it's so uh, cute. So basically he charmed <laughs> him not to go vent. And in charming him, it brought him out of uh, the hallucination, and he realized he was a spider web. Yeah, you, know, you guys had a pretty big like fight. That. Dang! Yeah. And then that's that's the end of the Maritime Marauders arc, right? Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty yeah, much. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we 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 had Five we had the, the encounter people. against impossible pe- people. Um. <laughs> and eventually a, 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 a gargoyle lieutenant saved our ship yeah big fight with yeah. a huge gargoyle yeah and then you guys ended up leaving that Austin Southern. told us not to do yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that the ending of that arc was was highly improvised by by all of us so <laughs> that's very good. true oh well thanks everybody for watching and tuning in to our maritime marauders arc recap five months of gameplay mm. that we just went five months. that's crazy um we stream on twitch and youtube on thursdays at 7 30 p.m mountain time yes and we just um started our next arc called fate of fable story arc and we're only on episode two so if you want to jump into this new and latest season now is a great time to do that do it. thank you guys it all is. so much Kat and Sam, we miss you. Austin and Austin and Joe and Taylor, thanks for hanging out with me at our little recap session. Yay! Stays healthy and hydrated, and we appreciate you. And we appreciate y'all supporting us because this stuff is so much fun and quite cathartic during these COVIDian times we're in. I can't wait to play with y'all in person one day, hopefully soon. Um, and I got mad love for each and every one of y'all. You guys are fucking it. rad. So thank you. Thank you. Cool. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.